Got him? Here we go. Hot drag. Hooked up. There you go. Nice Beauty. Great right way to start the day, huh? That one looks like it's good for the frying pan. Yeah. Yeah, wonderful. Nice fish. How you doing, everybody? Hey, Joe Henry, Lake of the Woods Tourism. I'm with my good friend, Greg Jones of Midwest Outdoors. And uh, we're on uh, Lake of the Woods, the walleye capital of the world, doing some summer fishing today, Greg. This is one of many. Oh, yeah. I think we better get back at it. What do you yep. say? That one looks good to eat to me. In the box. Yeah, some big hooks out here, Greg. Got him. Yeah. Get a look. Nice Ooh, sauger. Just a Get up there. hard fighting sauger. Good sauger. Those fish are uh, starting to key on the bugs right now. That's what the spinners are working on. They are, yeah. And we're uh, we're just kind of off some structure, Greg, kind of that uh, rock mud transition yep. here. Yep. And you can see the bugs on our grass. You can see different carcasses of mayflies floating around. And this is uh, another fish for the box. Isn't yep. It? There's some bug hatches going on. So good time to pull a spinner. Pinching that crawler off, using a bottom bouncer, pretty rocky down there. You got to stay on the ball, not to get snagged, but uh, the fish are there. 18 incher, nice walleye. Huh? Okay. We don't work pulling spinners, and you know, with the two ounce bottom bouncer and a good snell with the, the right blade, putting that crawler on, and just like you said earlier, you don't want that big long worm in there. You want to pinch that off just a few inches behind that second hook. They'll still hit it, but your chances of hooking that walleye go way up. There you go, Joe. Still going box. Yeah. Nice Nicer. eater, huh? Chunky. Look at that one. <laughs> well, Greg, there's a good one. I'll tell yeah, you what. Yeah, that was a good fighter, that's for sure. You know what? Today we're out here uh, in, a, in a, a small boat, in my boat, you know, and, and I'll tell you, one of the cool things about a small boat it gives you flexibility. You can go from spot to spot to spot. You can yep. come and go as you please. Yep. But at the same time, you know, if people don't have a boat or if they're intimidated by big Lake of the Woods, jumping on a charter is a great way to oh, catch yeah. fish on Lake of the Woods. You wake up in the morning, have a good breakfast, step aboard a charter boat, everything is taken care of. And I think we've got to get this girl back. Yeah, what let do you her say? go. Yeah, no doubt. It's getting hot. I got to get this hoodie off too. Tugger, yeah, digging. Wow, here's a good one. Smoosh. Look at that walleye. <laughs> Another good one, you know. But Greg, I'll tell you, one of the great things about coming up here is that, uh, man, we have a variety of lodging up here. Oh, yeah. And uh, you know, whether you want to stay in a resort that's full service, meal packages, the American plan, literally the lodging, the charter fishing, and all the meals are included. Otherwise, you can stay at a resort and bring your own boat. Yep. Bring your own meals, cook your own meals. We also have great hotels. You can pull your boat right up to the door. So a lot of great options up at Lake of the Woods. Let's put this one back. You know, you really have to set too much. Line straightens out. They pretty much hook themselves. There. Well, Greg, it's kind of fun. Nice fish, by the way. Beautiful yep. walleye. And we're getting, we're, we're doing so well today. But, yeah. you know, folks, there's uh, there's three parts to Lake of the Woods. When you think of Lake of the Woods, it's a big system. The first part is the Rainy River. And the Rainy River feeds Lake of the Woods. And then, of course, the second part is called Big Traverse Bay. That's a big open water of Lake of the Woods that we're on today. 30 miles north-south by about 25 miles east-west. West, it's like a huge aquarium full of walleyes and saugers and other fish. And of course, the third part is the northwest angle. That's that little tip of Minnesota that sticks up into Canada. It's the northernmost point of the contiguous U.S. and it's where the 14,552 islands of our lake begin, full of fish everywhere. Yes. Yeah, I mean you know, I tell you, every year is different. Oh, and yeah. this year, we've had record high water on, on the Rainy River and Lake of the Woods. And I'll tell you what, kudos to the resorters for being resilient. You know, they, uh, they, got, they got new docks put in, they got people out fishing. Um, the water levels are dropping. And as you've seen out here, Greg, there used to be some debris in the water when the water levels are high. That's cleaned out, yep. we're looking good yep. now. Yep, she's cleaned out. You know, high water means uh, good spawning usually too. So there should be another big year class coming. And you know what? Rainy River is going to be really good this fall. It's going to be really good. Tussler. Look at that. 
It's a nice one, huh? Okay. Greg, 21. nice walleye. Yep, Real nice yep. walleye. Third fighter. Well, you know, Greg, obviously we're up here fishing, and yep. that's why most people come to Lake of the Woods. But, no doubt. Well, there's a ton of things to do up here. I mean, uh, if you want to, you know, buzz into town and take a break, the Farmer's Market, the History Museum, Willie Walleye, the new distillery, yep. shopping, mm -hmm. wilderness drives, blueberry picking, yeah. the birding up here. I yeah. mean, there are so many different varieties of birds. It's just amazing what we've seen today. Yeah. Fun area, a lot of fun people. You meet some characters, that's for sure. Let's let that one go, huh? There's uh, one of the. <laughs> there there's a good reason bigger. to come to Lake of the Woods. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a good nice one, Greg. One. Oh. Yeah. Man, what a day of fishing, huh? Awesome. Beautiful. Boy, we've caught an eater, small fish, big fish, saugers. Yep. I mean, uh, and I'll tell you what, folks, if you want to come up to Lake of the Woods and experience this kind of summer or fall fishing, I'll tell you, it's an awesome time to come up. The lake is healthy. You know what? Our water's gone down. Everything is awesome for fishing. You know what? Uh, want more information on fishing Lake of the Woods? Check out our website. That's Lake of the Woods, M N. Com. Hey, for Greg Jones of Midwest Outdoors, I'm Joe Henry. More Midwest Outdoors coming up next. Nice.